What's going on people? I find it quite interesting that three of the biggest YouTubers in the black YouTube sector is trending on YouTube. Young Pharaoh is trending because of his baby mamas. Dr. Umar Johnson because of the fact that he allegedly got into a squabble or uh, some type of disagreement in Harlem. He was about to fight. And now we're talking about polite. But there's one thing that they all have in common. And I think that's one of the reasons why they are so popular on YouTube. The one thing that they have in common is all three of them bash the church. All three of them are anti-Christ. All three of them are quote-unquote atheists, especially polite. And I've always found it quite interesting that they cannot talk about their beliefs or their ideas without having to bash the church or bash the Bible or attack Christianity. They have that one thing in common. If you look at the average so-called black person on YouTube that has a large channel, the number one thing that they do is bash the church. Everything is the church's fault because people or black people believe in the Bible or they believe in Christ and they go out on a tangent. And because they do that, you have other people that's drawn to that energy like begets like so you have other anti-christ anti-god anti-church those are the ones that's drawn to them they don't mind funding them because it funds that satanic program now i'm not going to be on this too long because i had a dental appointment i had some dental work today and this side of my face is numb, so my voice kind of sounds a little off. But, um, but I just found it to be quite interesting. And, of course, whenever they go through something like this, you take, for example, Polite. He's going to say, oh, my lawyers told me not to talk. Um, this is false. Once the evidence come out, I'm going to be exonerated. And I didn't do these things, but DNA don't lie. Even if you did not do that to that 14-year-old girl, why would you take her out to a after party anyway? Just you and that 14-year-old girl. Do you take your little daughter out to after parties? So what made her so special that you had to take her to an after party and then get a separate hotel apart from where her mother was staying? See, so that sounds quite sketchy. Not only that, you gave this young girl allegedly drugs and alcohol to a minor. So even if you did not touch her, you still violated her by giving an underage drugs and alcohol. You took her to a hotel. And this is what came of that. So, if you didn't do that, how did they get those six stains of your DNA? It makes no sense. And you're fooling no one but yourself. But I would be quite surprised if he get out of this, I would be surprised. But again, the one thing that they all have in common, they all are anti-Christ. They're all atheists. And I'm going to say atheists because they not only bash Christianity and the Bible, but they also bash God. And one other thing before I end this video. You say 
that the black woman is God. All three of them say the black woman is God. So is that how you treat God? Is that how you treat your God? You say the black woman is God. But then that puts another question in my mind. If the black woman is God, does that mean that the black man is the goddess? Because there's a God and there's the goddess. Men are usually known to be the gods. Women are known to be the goddesses. Is that a coming out confession that you're saying that you are a goddess? Now we already have dudes that's calling themselves queens. So are you calling yourself a goddess? If the black woman is God, then who's the goddess? Would that make black men the goddess? And that's why you have people like Tasha K that's not afraid to out people like polite. So where's the goddess if the black woman is God? Does that make you the goddess? Inquire minds want to know. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.